Hey everybody on YouTube, this is MK The Truth, D-O-D-B-E-N-T Got some good looking sneakers for us to look at today If you guys are new to my channel, come on and join the squad Also connect to my Instagram, it is the underscore truth underscore MK Also ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, D-O-D-B And we upload them here as well This is a pair of the Ja Morant I like this little logo. You got a J and kind of a M all in one. They always do these sort of logos over at Nike. This is a retail pair of sneakers, people. I repeat, retail pair of sneakers. This is day one colorway. I don't know the official name of the colors. I'm pretty sure it's on the box, but I have been interested in this colorway uh, ever since I saw them. I like the way these look. Now, I'm going to say it. I know people may have been thinking it. It's kind of a Kobe ish feel to these I know all of the younger cats and the people in the NBA love Kobe sneakers and I think everyone's trying to create something that seems like a Kobe sneaker and there's nothing wrong with that but like I said I was interested in this colorway and these don't disappoint man these don't disappoint if you guys don't know me I pride myself in basketball sneakers that's what I grew up on and I kind of want to see them come back and make some great designs again anyway you have this interesting colorway i like this colorway man very very interesting colorway and it looks like a good shoe shape wise to wear casually as well as on the court anyway if you guys know i pride myself on materials you have a what looks to be a synthetic upper now this leather on the upper is leather but it has a really nice texture to it they've gotten really good at the texture man that's crazy look at this look at that that texture is <laughs> wow it almost look natural this is crazy anyway i like the shape of the shoe i like how it kind of comes flat towards the front got more of that synthetic leather wrapping around the front then kind of wraps around actually wraps around the entire shoe and then comes around the boot here anyway you have these nice laces with this jaw morant logo and sort of like a punch or like a reddish color more of that synthetic leather on the tongue wow they're getting really good at mimicking uh, leather texture and it, it doesn't feel too bad but i can tell i can tell by the way it feels anyway this is a cheaply made shoe the first offering to any new athlete that gets its own shoe is always going to be a cheap shoe price that like around 100 or 110 bucks fused material running around the ice days love the transition of the nike swoosh to this this sort of a yellow to like this sort of a punch more synthetic leather around the boot number 12 I like the graphics on the inside you got the 12 a.m the sort of a signature right there you have a jaw the the midnight series on the boot here i kind of like this little graphic there with the jaw flip around to the medial side the shoe kind of changes a little bit got a nice little what's that what's that Kari, it's at his daughter's name. I know uh, sometimes they put their uh, kid's name somewhere on the shoe. Anyway, here's a little bit more details. Start from scratch. I'm seeing these as we go, people. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm seeing these as we go. And then, of course, you got some air zoom technology on the inside of the shoe. Anyway, let's get this footbed out because it does say something in here. And, oh, will you look at that? What does that say? Upper contains... Sen I can feel it, man. Come on now. <laughs> to my fans, my family, my friends, my haters, my coach. <laughs> hey, look, you can pause that and read that yourself. Anyway, let's take a look at this other shoe right quick. Then we're getting on up out of here. Yeah, man, I like these. These are pretty clean. Can't wait to see what other colorways uh, come out down the pipeline. But one thing I do want Nike to do. Put some real materials on the shoe. Real materials have more give than this plastic synthetic crap that you put on here. Why not just put some real leather on here? Leather has really good stretch and all that to the sneaker anyway. So just go ahead and throw the real leather on there and stop putting this synthetic nonsense on it. But that's what they do to keep the price point low. Keep the uh, a sneaker, I guess, cheap and keep more money in their pockets. This retailed at about 110 and I'm going to say, I know I got to do it. I know I got to do it. I'm going to go ahead and say this cost them maybe four bucks to make. Hey, 
it is what it is that's just how big business work anyway i'm seeing a couple of differences here you see the numbers change on the back color and also the logos on the top you got one in that sort of a yellowish color and one in that red color i like these um i like these ever since i saw them day one got another color swap there the john morant day one colorway these are actually pretty clean man I, I ain't got no problem with wearing these casually right here. I think these beat out the uh, the newer LeBron. Was it the 19? Was it the 20? Can't remember. Can't remember. Everything's running so close. But I like these a little bit more than those from a casual uh, aspect. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the John Morant 1 down below. Always got to pick up the first sneaker from somebody who we think is going to be great. This is MK The Truth, D-O-D-B-E-N-T. Hey, man, I love y'all. I'm out.